Shalom, shalom. All right, cool, cool. All right, shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Kodash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me his truth. And salutation to the elect scattered brought throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, my name is Amon Gabar. And I'm back with another lesson, Lord Williams, edifying straight into the point. And um, as y'all see in the title, Shalom to everybody in the comment board, you you Akium and you Fusion say Aqua, Shalom to you. But as you see in the title, um, the gear teams, right? And through the spirit, you know, the inspiration come from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is watching um the elder bit elder apostles live stream earlier this morning that they did yesterday and they started out going into that you know and also too you know we had did a live stream you know the brothers i was with we did a live stream on the the page three strike for esau eat them we did that um yesterday afternoon to evening and um so that's up on that page you can subscribe today more than likely i'll probably be uploading the camp uh live stream the camp videos on that page but anyway we was going into the same topic as far as um the MOTB, all right, because that is going to be the guillotine is going to be the is going to be a form of punishment or capital puni punishment for those who don't worship the beast, all right, or his image or receive the MARK, which receiving the MARK is the final is the final pledge showing that you are part of this man's system and that you want to get down with this man's system. That's why I titled it the guillotine. Now, what I got here also, too, is, you know, I just Google a few things. Like, for example, simple things, all right? What is the guillotine used for? The guillotine, the guillotine instrument for inflicting capital punishment by decapitation. Introduced in France in 1792. All right? Now, you go to, I'm reading one more time. An instrument for inflicting capital punishment by decapitation. So now let's go over to what is capital punishment? Capital punishment, the legally authorized killing of someone as punishment for a crime. Okay, now what, what is that crime? Let's go over to another word. Let's go over to treason. Treason is a crime of attacking a state authority to which one owes allegiance. Typically, this typically includes acts such as participating in a war against one native's country, attempting to overthrow its... Let me press it. Attempting to overthrow its government, spying on its military, its diplomats, or secret services for a hostile foreign power, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And, and we are not going to be charged for things such as spying on the military and, and things of that nature. We simply are going to be charged for treason as far as rebelling against the government when they introduce that MARK. All right, because now when you go over to the word rebel, a person who rises in opposition or armed resistance against an established government or ruler. All right, now I said all that to say this is when this devil pushes that um that C Ragma, when he pushes that MOTB, then all bets are off. All right, like the scriptures where it says in like Romans, the 13th chapter about about uh let me see if I pull it up real quick. Romans chapter 13. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of the Most High, the powers that are, that be are, are ordained. So the Most High establishes the power. Scriptures tell you that he, he sets up one and he bring it down. All right. So we know that. It says, whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of the Most High. Now, I, I bring this out because when that MOTB is implemented, implemented, all bets are off. All right. And that's why we warning you about the M-A-R-K because you got you're gonna have Christian churches, Christian leaders, even Israelite groups that's gonna pull this scripture and tell you and tell you that it's not talking about that. Okay? They're gonna tell you it's not talking about the mark. They're gonna tell you that th the reason why you gotta go ahead and, and receive that M-A-R-K is because of this scripture. And they're gonna try to pull that and say, well, if you don't take the the M-A-R-K to Revelation 13, 16 on down, then you are in opposition against this particular scripture. What they going all the way to hell off. All right. And that's why we go hard about pushing the MOTB. Because guess what? Everybody's going to be faced with this reality real soon. 
it's going to be a choice of life and death. Okay? As far as are you are you going to take the 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 thing? Are you going to take it or are you going to get your head chopped off? And that's something we that's something I contemplate many a times all the time, you know? And that's why I'm putting putting this video out there. You know, like I said, this inspiration came from the uh lives that the apostles did yesterday. The apostles they did it and they brought it up in the beginning of their lesson. So that's the spirit that we're pushing out there. And another thing too, if the MOTB, all right, pursuing the Revelation 13, verse 16 is sin itself, then that means everybody got to be decapitated, you know, or, or those that continue in, uh, in their sin are not going to be decapitated. It just don't make no sense. It, it don't make no sense for them guys teaching you. They're, they're so hell bent on teaching you that the M-A-R-K is not the um the C hit. Matter of fact, I had screenshotted something last night. It's on this phone that I'm recording with, so I can't even pull it up. But it's all good. You know, but um it was a thumbnail for for the video that the, uh, them dudes did over there the uh, the WFI so adamant that the MARK is not the C hip. But time is gonna tell. When that guillotine is up front of you, time is gonna tell. And the spirit is just having us prepare our minds as well as your minds. For that, when this devil does bring that guillotine out, you know, and say, "All right, let me, let me see all that, all that you've been saying. Let's see how real you are about it," you know, because here at Great Millstone, we dead ass serious about what we believe in. All right, we're we're one hundred percent confident, one hundred forty four thousand percent confident that the mark is what we say it is through the spirit from the apostles on them. All right, this ain't no joke. So, I'm gonna get the scriptures I got in the Akium. You know, you could light up that comment board too with some scriptures. So let's go on with it. This is um I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at the book of Revelation, chapter 20, and verse 4. It says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. Talking about the 12. The 12 are gonna be sitting on those thrones. All right, like the Lord said, He they gonna He gonna pre-promise them that they're gonna sit on. They that follow me in the regeneration shall in fact, let me get it. This is Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh shall said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, all right, regeneration is just another way of saying reincarnation, all right? So they, you, us, the elect, Lord willing, the hopeful elect, the Lord was talking about the 12, and then this applied to the elect, all right? The 144,000. But it says that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, which he is right now, sitting at the right hand of the Father, all right, in his glory, ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones. He's directly talking to the 12, because the 12 is going to be at the top, you know, under Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, King David, among that, all right, the 12, sitting on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, meaning they're going to be in that top leadership position as a reward for following Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah in the regeneration, okay? And then the elect, the rest of the elect are going to be sitting in that high position as well, okay? The elect is going to be the judges of the earth to come. And this is the reward we want because you are going to have, like like how, how to say it, how we say it, like the commoners, the common Israelites, you know, so-called regular Israelite, but every Israelite is going to be righteous, all right? There's going to be ranks, just like how you got ranks now, there's going to be ranks in the kingdom. And we fighting for that crown that Yahweh Shah promised us, man. We getting down for our crown that the Lord promised he will give us. You know, we ain't looking for no second prize. You know, no last place winners. No, ain't no such thing as a last place winner. We want we want this glory on the first go around. We desire that for our Lord to crown us. So that's why I bring that out. Let me go back to Revelation 20 and verse 4. And that's why the scriptures talk about um they that stood so stiffly for the word of the Lord, man. When um, Ezra seen the elect being crowned, he said, who are they? These are they that stood so stiffly for the word of the Lord, you know, and Lord willing, that be us men that's going to get crowned. All right. So let me go back to Revelation 20 and 4. It says, and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. The Lord said he was going to judge. Right. It says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. So you're going to have some men that are going to be, be beheaded. For the witness of Yahweh Shah. Okay? Some people are going to be beheaded. You know? For the testimony. For the witness. Because Revelation 19 says. Verse 10. And I fell at his feet and worshipped him. And he said unto me. See thou do it not. 
I am thy fellow servant. I am thy fellow servant. This is the angel talking to Apostle John. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship the Most High for the spirit, excuse me, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. So if we testify of Yahweh Shah, we got to be prophesying. And if you prophesying, you saying something before it happened. And what are we saying before it happened? We let you know that this whole system is going to change. This world as we know is going to change. And that's when people are going to bug out. That's when people are going to be looking for answers. But the Lord is back. What, he, what he's going to do is he's going to withdraw his word in that time. When people out here bugging the hell out, you know, like, like chickens without their heads, you know, goose on the loose. The Lord is going to have these people in a trick bag, man. They ain't going to know what to do, how to do it. Because the answers ain't going to be found anymore. Okay? That's why it's our responsibility as each and every last individual to acquire this knowledge while we still can. All right? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's going to keep us stable. And anybody that's rejecting the, the, the teachings of what the MOTB is, they don't have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Point blank, period. Because this is the major prophecy that the Lord is going to have unfold right before he destroyed this place. He's drawing the line right now. He's drawing the line in the sand. What side are you on? All right? Are you going to be on the side of the beast? Or are you going to be on the side of Yahweh Shah? Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. All right? Matthew talk about how these are uh, Revelation also talk about how these are uh, through great excuse me through great tribulation Revelation these are they which came out of great tribulation you know so it's gonna be very troublesome out here before the Lord come back all right the Lord ain't playing man the Lord is not playing so let me go back over to Revelation twenty <clears throat> excuse me. All right, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 4 again, it says, And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. We established that, okay, to be a, to be testifying and prophesying. The true prophets are going to be, you know, you know, faced with this because the true, those that are going, you know, get beheaded are the ones that stood so stiffly. But guess what? The scriptures say that, let me, let me pull it up right here. First Thessalonians 4 and 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. All right? Which should not prevent them which are asleep, meaning those that died. There's going to be certain brothers that, that's going to die. It, it could be me. I don't know. But if I'm faced with that, I pray the Lord... Give me the strength to endure it. You know, I pray Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah put the spirit on me to, to go out manly. You know, we can't avoid what's to come. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, but we know the prophecies of what's going to happen, but we don't know what the Lord got in store for us as each and every last individual. We just got, you know, build our faith and prepare for what's to come. You know what I'm saying? We got to defend this truth, defend this gospel, defend Yahweh Shah wholeheartedly, regardless of the oppositions, those that are against us. The whole world could be against us. That's fine. You know what? But we know we got the truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. So we're going to lower one through the spirit, keep on pushing it. You know, even in the face of adversity, even in the face of this, these damn devils, when they present the that big giant guillotine, probably the size of a damn light post or some shit, you know, come sliding down, crashing down on your neck, clean cut, you know, watching other brothers getting beheaded. Knowing that you next, scriptures like um, 2 Maccabees, the seventh chapter, come to mind. The seven brothers that that all, you know, the, the, that watched each other getting tormented and killed with the mother. You know, scriptures like that come to mind. You know, but guess what? The Lord gave them men some high level courage. He was with those men. And he's going to be with his elect, as he promised, as he said. So we ain't scared of the guillotine. At first, when you first hear about it, you come into the truth. And you're like, oh, shit, word. You know, you, you think about it a lot, but we don't fucking think about it no more, bro. As far as if, ands, or buts. You know? And may the Lord keep that spirit on us when that time come. I can say, I can tell you this, them guys that are denying it, that's playing around, that's proud as all hell, the scripture said pride go before fall and the Holy Spirit before destruction, right? So one thing about them guys that are denying it, they proud as all hell. They proud. You know? They proud as hell. They don't want... They don't want the bum camp to be right. You know? 
They don't want the bum camp to be right. I mean, it'll break their heart. <laughs> it'll break their heart if the bum camp is right, man. But hey, it is what it is. That ego is a motherfucker, man. That ego will kill your ass. Ego is, that, hey, save your ego for the gym. I always say that. Save the ego for the gym. You know? And a lot of them cats are going to get the MOTB because they're going to be scared. Their women's going to pressure them to get it. You know? Their women's going to pressure them to get it. It's going to be a fucking hot mess <laughs> when that MOTB is established. And I can't wait, man, because I know where my faith stands, man. So I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait, man. Let it happen. All right? So they that live remain should not prevent them which are asleep. So those that do, do die for this word, for this testimony, for this truth, all right, they they got their number. They they part of the elect. All right, they got their number. So they you know those that are alive remain. It's not, they it can't prevent them. Meaning, and also to the scripture say, I'm gonna read it. For the Lord, for the Lord Himself shall descend from the heaven, with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in your house shall shall rise first. So these men they gonna get crowned the victory first. You know, scriptures say no greater thing is that a man, um. Live to see the fall of his enemy. A brother could put that up there, man. You know, we want to see the downfall of this devil. We want to make it to the end. We want to, we want to see the miracles that the Lord is going to put us through, you know, and deliver us from in the time of Jacob's trouble and, you know, things of that nature. That's what we want. But it's not about what we want. It's about the Lord's will. You know, but it is a blessed thing to be the ones to receive the spiritual power. All right. The ones to, to have the angels just delivering you and protecting you out of everything, which they doing that already. Scriptures say that the angel encamp round about them that fear him. You know? And like the brother said, Lion's Den. You know, Wi-Fi took the bag with holes, right? That's what he said? Let me see. They took the bag. They took a bag with holes in it. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. You know, that bag ain't going to save you when that time comes. Look at Judas Iscariot. All right? So let me read on. It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So that's comforting words to the elect. You know, the Lord, the Lord got us. Lord will be part of the elect. Got nothing to worry about, man. You know, let the Lord do his thing. Let him destroy his enemies and the gain and the naysayers, you know, and all that. That's on them. Every man, every idle word that man speak, you have to give account for in the day of judgment. All right. So back in Revelation 20 and 4. And for the word, let me read it again. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither has received his mark upon their foreheads, and, and excuse me, and it says, or in his hands. And we go into that all the time. We done broke down to the very last compound, you know, what the what who the beast is. All right. What his image is, what his mark is, you know. So for guys to say that, what about the six? He said, brother sent me a voice clip with this guy talking about, I never hear nobody saying, what if you take the 666? Bro, we done broke down what the 666 even represent. You don't want to hear it because you acknowledge that, you know, oh, I don't want to hear nothing about a barcode. Well, hey, well, you don't want to hear about the truth. All right. Everybody's about to be stamped. Not everybody, but everybody that's not part of the elect is about to be stamped. All right. Stamped with that barcode. All right. And that barcode is going to be that incision. Okay. That M-A-R-K. You know? So it is what it is, bro. At the end of the day, it is what it is. They that they that ignorant, let them be ignorant, ignorant still. Okay? So reading on it says, Neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Here it is, Elon Musk. Coming with that um that 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 BCI, brain chip interface, man. What you think that's about? Alright? They getting they getting people ready. This coming May. He say you're going to start doing human trials and all that. So, hey, like I said, like we say through the spirit, when this thing really do pop off, people are going to bug the hell out. So it says, or in their hands, okay, hands as in plural, we got two hands. Some people got one hand. Some people got no hands. Some people are, 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 are maimed and lame and all that. So they, where they going to get it at? More than likely in their foreheads, you know? Apostle John didn't see people buying and selling. With, with sin that that make that makes no sense okay make no sense all right it makes sense to the dense <laughs> those are the dumb as all hell 
So it says, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shah a thousand years. Okay, which is all eternity. One of the main things that's going to happen within that thousand years is going to be the building of the kingdom. You know, Esau getting his ass whooped. And after that thousand years, getting burnt up in that pit. All right, Revelation uh, chapter 2, verse 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Because, yes, suffering is going to come. All right, great tribulations are coming. But the scriptures say don't fear it. All right, it says, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And, and where they got the guillotine set up, some brothers, you know, they're they going to put some people in concentration. People are people going to go in concentration camps. Some brothers, too. All right. And from there, you may be transported to a guillotine area where you see the capital punishment going down. But the Lord said, don't fear that. OK, don't fear that. So it says the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days, 10 meaning a complete number, a perfect perfection. OK, 10 is perfection. So the Lord is going to put us through that fire to perfect us. So it says and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay? So even if it's death, even if we know we're going to have to be standing in the face of death, we got to remain faithful. All right? Trust in the Lord, and the Lord will deliver us. And if we do happen to get beheaded, the Lord will raise us up first. So it is what it is. You know? I can't see how this Revelation 20 and 4 can be applied to those saying that the, the mark is an embargo, is Christianity, it's the image of Caesar. You know, it's sin. You know, it's the, RF, it's the RFID, you know what? Point blank, period. Okay? It says, um, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death, which is by ICBM missiles. The second death is the thermonuclear destruction. So he that overcome, we, we try to escape that. There's going to be a World War III. There's going to be a time where nukes are going to fly from one continent to the next. And men's hearts are going to fail them. People are going to be scared as all hell. You know? Their hearts are going to fail them. Their hearts are going to melt. And they're going to be burnt the hell up. And the Lord ain't just going to, one, two, three, vaporize them. They're going, to, they, they're, going to be, they're going to be feeling that fire for a little second, man, for a good minute. You know? And the Lord is the master of torture, bro. You think Esau is the master of torture? Yahweh Shah is, man. Yahweh Bosh Shemi, Yahweh Shah is. So it ain't going to be a one, two, three thing. It's gonna get real, but it's gonna get real cruel out here. And it ain't gonna be eternity either way. You're just gonna be burning over here in America. No, you know, but the Lord do have the power to keep your soul and your body while you feel pain. We see it all the time. Somebody fall from a, a damn three, four story roof, you know, and they 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 cripple. They cripple, they in pain, you know, but they alive. So people get their head shot off, like half their face gone, but they still alive, eating through a straw. So the Lord is bad, man. I mean, he ain't nothing to, he ain't nothing to play with. All right? So I'm going to jump to the comment board real quick. See what scriptures brothers got. Um, Neil, Neil Lipaya says, um, I'll put up Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. And absolutely. All right? Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when it's come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. What's going to come to pass? The prophecies, man. All right? The prophecies are going to come to pass. The word of the Lord is going to come to pass. Okay? And the MOTB, the main prophecy we're talking about is going to come to pass. So when it does, they're going to know a prophet had been among them. They're going to say, oh, shit, GMS was right. Well, Yahweh Shimei Yahweh was right. We were just teaching his word. All right? As he commanded. I read that already on um, Revelation 2 and 10. Revelation 3 and 10. I ain't read that. I ain't get that one yet. So I'll read it now. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Everybody's going to be tried. Everybody's going to have to get this test. Okay? Going to have to be tested before the kingdom is established, before the kingdom will come. So ain't no escaping that. Ain't no escaping that. The only thing we can hope for is that the Lord keep us through that hour of temptation. Okay? And he said, if you do, if you keep his word, he's going to keep you from it. So Psalms, Azan Amaf, Psalms 102 and 26. They shall perish, but thou shall endure. Yeah, all of them shall wax old like a garment. All right? Like a garment as a vesture 
shall thou change them, and they shall be changed. All right. Um, hopeful elect, election, 12 tribes, Matthew 20 and 20, teaching them to observe, observe all things. Whosoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Amen. All right. Kneel again. It says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart, my heart, my mind, aka my mind, trusteth in him. And I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth. And with my songs will I praise him. Okay. And the brother Kasai 144 said, a lot of them going to fold. Exactly. They are going to fold, man. Because they weren't. They weren't trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So they're going to fold. Like a, like, a, like a paper bag. Okay. Galatians 6 and 3. And this ties into that pride. It says, For if a man think himself to be something, he is nothing. He deceive himself. We ain't nothing but servants of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, bro. This ain't our word. This ain't something we came up with. You know, this ain't out, you know, I would think, you know, this is the Lord's thing, man. All right? This is Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah's thing. So we ain't, we just servants of the Lord. And we hope to be the chosen vessels and not the vessels for destruction. You know? And that pride is going to kill them. Our pride is going to get a lot of these guys killed, man. Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and, leave, and lean not unto thine own understanding. All right, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Point blank period, one of my favorite scriptures because everything we do is based off what the Lord wants us to do. You know, if you if you delusional is because the Lord got you delusional. You know, the deceiver and the deceived are both his. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a scary trap to watch these guys. What, what you know what? At least it ain't us. You know, we can say that. At least it better them than us. You know, because somebody got to fill that, fill that shoe. I'd rather be them than us, you know, cause and, and they ain't taking a warning. So that blood is off our hand. Like it tells you that in Ezekiel. All right. The 33rd chapter, Ezekiel, the third chapter, the watchman. So that blood is off our hand. So it got to be somebody. It is what it is. All right. Hopeful election, 12 tribes, Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keep my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. It's all about overcoming to the end. All right. That's what it's all about. It's about making it to the end. It ain't over yet. All right. Uh, Sirach 25 and 7. Yeah, there you go. I was I quoted that earlier. All right, Benjamin 144 says, There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart. To be happy, in the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy over his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's, hey, we hope to see the fall of our enemy because it's going to be a joyful thing. All right, to what we... Hey, watching this society crumble is beautiful. You know, we get a kick out of it, man. Watch Edomites in distress. Watch two-thirds in distress. Watch these nations in distress. We get a kick out of it, man. And this is just the beginning. I always reference back to 2020 when, you know, it, it looked like SHTF type scenario. Things were looking bad. People didn't know what to do. You know? People hitting you up on the phone, trying to get in contact with you because they want to know what to do, what they should do. Scared. All that's coming back. Proverbs, the first chapter, says, I will laugh at your calamity. When your fear cometh as a desolation, the most high is going to laugh. And how is he going to laugh? Through the prophets. All right? So we want to see the downfall of our enemy. Okay? Yeah, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 2, verse 47. So he answered me, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son, going back to what I quoted about getting crowned, right? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, who is a young man that crowned them, who they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. We defend the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah wholeheartedly. All right. We don't substitute it with nothing. You know, we don't substitute it with nothing. No other title is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Now, if you do say the Lord or the Most High, then you got to clarify the Most High, Yahweh, Ba, Shem, Yahweh, Shah, eventually. But you ain't going to hear us doing a whole lesson just saying Most High, you know, the Lord or God. You know, we're going to say those names. We're going to declare those names and defend those names. All right? Hopeful election, 12 tribes. Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. That's it. We getting down for our crown. You know, and don't let nobody take it. Not Satan, not temptations. 
You know, not your woman, not your kids, your family, your job, Esau, nobody, nothing. All right, Neil puts uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3, 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he hath care for his elect. Okay, the Lord have care for his elect. You know, and, and I posted this in the community section uh, sometime last night. Let me see if I can pull it up. It was, it was a, um, it's in Revelation. Let me, excuse me, it's in the book of Psalms. 37 and i think it was 19 yep 37 19 all right because we talk about buying and selling people wonder well how are you going to eat how are you going to do this how are you going to do that we don't mean worried about how we're going to do it all right the lord says it's going to happen the lord said behold my isaiah 65 behold my servant shall eat because the nigga thinks with his damn belly all right these, these see, people are so conditioned to just want to eat 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 they can't fathom the fact of not being able to eat but that's part of miracles that we got to look forward to. The Lord said his servants are going to eat. We want to know how we're going to eat. We're going to find out when that time comes. That's some of the miracles that we are we looking forward to. Yeah, things are looking bad, famine-wise, you know, this-wise, whatever, everything is happening. But we want to see how the Lord is going to perform miracles. That's going to put a, a big-ass smile on our face, man, and a lot of and, a, and comfort in our, in our hearts and our minds. So Psalms 37 in the, NL, in the KJV, then the NLT. This is what I posted in the community section. It says, they shall not be ashamed in an evil time. All right, because when this thing starts to happen and roll out, it's going to get real evil out here. Okay, Jacob's trouble is going to be evil. The evils. Okay, it's going to get bad. It says, and in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. So when things are famished, things are bad, you know, people can't eat. The Lord said, they're going to be satisfied. Who? The upright. When you read up above, it says, the Lord know the days of the upright and the inheritance shall be forever. So the Lord knows the days of the upright. The upright is going to be taken care of, which are the elect. All right, starting with the prophets, the men, 144,000. All right, and then the one third. All right, men, women, and children. You know, going to be taken care of. How? We're we going to see when that time comes. So let me slide over to NLT. It says, they will not be disgraced in hard times. Hard times are coming to Babylon. All right, hard times is coming to Babylon, but the elect is not going to be disgraced, not going to be ashamed. You know, the, the elect ain't going to be wanting, wanting anything. Like the scriptures tell you, never seen a righteous begging bread or wanting anything, right? It says, even in famine, they will have more than enough. So when shit the fan, we're going to be taken care of. Lord willing, we the elect. The Lord say you got us. You know, let him do the rest, you know. Scriptures say, be not curious how the um how the ungodly shall punish, but be more uh curious on how the righteous shall be saved. Inquire how the righteous are gonna be saved. So that's what we that's what we thinking about. To hell with the to the hell with the wicked. I wanna know how you know we gonna make it. You know, you brothers on the common boy, you sisters on the common boy, we that's that's how we curious about or what we curious about. Let's see how it go down. All right. I'm going to jump down to the bottom now. And I got a few more scriptures I got uh, queued up in my bookmarks. And I'm going to read those and I'm going to wrap it up. Lord willing. Um, Job chapter 5. That's a beautiful one. All right. Shallow 144. Shallow 1. It says, Job 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven they shall no evil touch thee. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death, okay? And from the power of the sword, and from the power of the sword. Famine is coming, all right? Which Jacob's trouble, the famine, that's all tying into six troubles. Because the seven troubles, the last trumpet, all right? The scripture says the trumpet shall sound. That's going to be the, the destruction, the ultimate sword, which is the ICBM missile, that great sword that this dragon was blessed with, okay? That Esau was blessed with. That's that great sword. So in famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And that's another way people are going to know that there's been a prophet among them. When they see brothers eating, okay? When they see brothers are taken care of, brothers are not bugging out, not losing their minds, not worried about nothing. All right? It says, and in war from the power of the sword, because war is coming. 
World War Three is coming, and that's the power of the sword, the ICBM missile. All right, let me do this real quick. Let me go to um. Let me get the scriptures I got, then I'm gonna jump back to the comment board and get ready to uh to wrap up soon. So this is uh Sirach four, Sirach four and twenty and twenty eight, straight to the point. It says, "Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee." All right, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack and remiss. Right. So let me jump from there to the book of Matthew chapter ten and verse eighteen. It says, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. All right. Because we all going to be brought forth before these um kings, these governors, top officials. That day is coming. That day is coming and so be it. You know, the Lord said to fight for the truth unto death and you're going to fight for thee. You know, and it goes on to say this. But when they deliver you up. Take no thought of how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. So when that does happen, you know, that's why we don't meditate on it. I wonder what I wonder what I'm gonna say. I, we don't sit here like, damn, I wonder what I'm gonna say when them when them devils come kicking the doors at 3 a.m. You know, try to take us to concentration camps or take us to, to, to the prisons, then we gotta stand before these governors and top officials, and some of us some of us may even see the elites, you know. May even see the elites, man. These top devils. All right. These these Rothschilds and these, you know, you know, Bilderbergs and, and whatever. They may actually be there standing looking like the damn devil with their hands crossed behind their back, looking all proud and stout. But hey, it is what it is, because we know we're gonna have their ass in slavery. So we ain't we ain't worried about what we're gonna say. That's what the Lord is telling us. When they deliver you up, take no thought of how or what you shall speak. But it shall be given you in that same hour which you shall, shall speak, because they're gonna question us. You know, asking us, going, you know, so you going back to your videos, so you said this. What do you mean? The Lord's gonna put in our spirit what to say. You know? So you say the the uh the Lord is gonna destroy this, the Lord's gonna put in our spirit what to say. You know, I can't even think about what I'm gonna what what to even say right now, because I'm not thinking about what I'm gonna say. But when the time comes, the Lord's gonna put in our spirit, and they're gonna be. They, they go, they, it's going to cut them. It's going to cut their ass, man. Verse 20 says, For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. All right? Because it ain't us. It ain't about what we got to say. It's about what your Yahweh Shem Yahweh wanted us to say to condemn them devils at that given moment. You know? So it is what it is. You know, we all going to be brought before, you know, brought up on charges. You know, Scripture says who can, who can lay anything to charge to his elect. Okay? Nobody Not Esau Not the devil Scriptures also say Call him the cues of our brethren Revelation chapter 12 and 10 And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven Now has come salvation And strength And the kingdom of our power And the power of his anointed For the accuser of our brethren is cast down Which accused them before our power day and night Alright because that's all they do Accuse us before the Lord Or that's what they think they're doing you know, got Jake going off out here. You know, but the Lord knows, man. The Lord knows. You know, so the, the false accuser of our brethren, the Israelites, he is going to be brought down. All right, he is going to be brought down. So let them let them do what they do. Let them do what they do because we know the end all be all is going to be the Lord is going to destroy this place. All right, it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Yahweh Shah. That's the victory. Okay, and Lord willing be the elect. The victory is already written. All right, us brothers, Lord willing, we the elect, we already got the victory. There's already a crown laid up for us, like Apostle Paul said, man. There's already a crown with your name on it, man. Okay? Whether literal or, or the Lord got your name engraved in it, whatever. But there's a crown for you, man. If you endure, if we endure. Okay? A beautiful, precious crown that Yahweh Shah is going to crown us with for saying to hell to the no to this man's system. To stand it stiffly for this word. All right, for denouncing that MOTB, that M-A-R-K when that time come. Okay? So it is what it is. That's, that's Hey, come on. Ain't nothing beating that. There's nothing that beat that, bro. So, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, their prophecy, right? It says, and they love not their lives unto death. 
That's a major factor in this thing. We don't love our lives, bro. All right. Matter of fact, we hasten for the day that the Lord come and destroy this place. To hell with Babylon. All right. We love not our lives unto death. There's nothing here in Babylon. What you want us to reserve your life for? They that seek to, to save their life shall lose it. And they that lose their life for my name's sake shall gain it. We, we don't have no life, man. All right. The only life we do have a life, which is in Yahweh's eyes. I rephrase that. And this is our life. What are we doing? But as far as society's concerned, there's nothing here for us, bro. This devil's trying to turn everybody into robots, AIs, you know, trying to stick his, you know, his his wicked inventions up in you. Fuck him. Fuck you, so. You know, you can go kick rocks with all of that. So I think I got one more, then I'm going to get a couple scriptures, and then from the comic boy, and I'm going to wrap it up. All right. This is um the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse um 24 talking about babylon it says in her and in her was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints and of all that was slain upon the earth all right talking about america babylon the great that's how we know babylon gotta go down scripture said the land cannot be cleansed but by the blood of him that shed it you know and the lord is going to avenge his very elect all right the blood the, the prophets cry unto the lord day and night the saints of the most high cry unto the lord day and night you know, when we do these lessons, we crying unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to come and deliver us from the hands of our enemy. You know, his wicked ass want to get everybody sea hipped, but it ain't gonna happen. The Lord is gonna come and intervene. All right. So GMS, we GMS, we got next Mac, Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. That's why we're being persecuted for righteousness' sake. Esau is adverse to the society. All right, Esau is 100% adverse to society. So everything we being accused of is is righteousness. All right, what fellowship have light with darkness? You know, Esau can't stand this light, and we can't stand that darkness. So we are opposing forces, one against another. You know, so that's why he's gonna bring up these charges and accuse us of certain things. You know, accuse us of go back to the you know the records and say, well, these guys said this, these guys said that. Well, you know what you saw? Fuck you, man. It is what it is. We say what we say. We say what the Lord wants us to say. All right? So, 2 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 28. Shiloh 144, it says, Punish them that oppress us, and with pride do us wrong, which is our enemy. You saw Edom. GMS lit candle by 2nd Ezra 16 and 67. Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So the Most High shall lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And some of them troubles is the guillotine, man. You know, I brought up the title is called the guillotine. You know, whether you whether you get we get beheaded, whether it's decapitation, whether it's capital punishment, the dead in Yahweh Shah is going to raise up first, man. You know, and this is just to get your mind ready that shit going to hit the fan. You know, it's going to get dire out here in Babylon, but it is what it is. All right. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow and howl for vexation of spirit. And that's everybody else. All right. The non the non servants of the Lord are going are going to feel it. They're going to be the ones howling and weeping and mourning. You know, it is what it is, man. Um, I'm just jumping around real quick. Um, Neil Paya. Revelation 22 and 12. Behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with thee, to give every man according as his work shall be. Point blank, period. All right, and the Lord is definitely coming quickly, bro. You know, it's undeniable because just take a look at what's going on in this world, going on in the earth. The MOTB is speaking loud and clear. Matter of fact, Habakkuk, the second chapter, you know. And these are all, you know, you see, here at GMS, bro, those that watch, you notice. And this is always a constant reminder because once this shit hit the fan, there's no, there's gonna be no more reminders, no more reminders. Oh, you, 
You know, no more refreshers or nothing. This is get, get it now. Now it's time to get it. Now it's time to seal this in your mind because after it's all said and done, that's when it's going to be the real test. Okay? So this is all practice. This is all practice tests. You know, quizzes. You know, getting your mind ready for what's about to go down. You know, what you know what, what type of mind frame are you supposed to be in? For because the guy that's talking about the MOTB is not the is not the C hip, it's not the RFI, you know what? Then that man ain't ready. That man ain't ready for societal collapse. He's not ready for a great reset. You know, what are they gonna reset? That's another question. What are what are they trying to reset? They trying to reset the 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 this um economy as we know it. They trying to reset the dollar. Get rid of the dollar and bring in a whole new currency. That's not only going, you know, allow you to buy and sell, but it's going to track your ass, man. It's going to track when you shit, piss, and sleep, what you ate, how much calories you burnt. You know, he saw one total control. He wants to be like the Most High. The Most High knows these things. You know, the Most High know everything about a man. He saw one to track your thoughts, which he do that with with algorithm, social media, things of that nature. He's tracking your thoughts, predict predicting what you're going to watch. Some things pop up on your YouTube or whatever. And next thing you know, you been you probably was talking about it, you know, because they listening. You probably was talking about it. next thing you know, you see an ad for it and you you go on and click on it. So now you confirm, now you confirm exactly what they um now you confirm exactly what they thought about you. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you know, go figure. You saw it trying to be like the most high. Um Habakkuk, the second chapter, uh, verse three. I'll start at one. It says, I will stand upon my watch, the true watchman. All right, the true watchman. GMS is the true watchman for Israel, bro. <laughs> All right, GMS is the true watchman for Israel because we watching and we blowing that trumpet. We letting you know what it is. You know? Hey, man, all I can say is, man, I can't wait for this shit to fan. You know, some people like to say, I hate to be the one to say I told you so. Well, I love to be the one to say I told you so. Through the spirit and power of your house, it doesn't bother me. I'll be like, see, I warned you from the most high I warned your ass. You ain't want to listen. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> so Habakkuk, the second chapter in one, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he shall say or what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon the table that he may run that readeth it. All right. You that you that are reading, we're reading it. We're reading the scriptures, you know, like they say, taking a run with it, meaning you you hold fast to this thing. You know, you take it and you run it with it. Don't let it go. All right. Hold fast, which thou hast that no man take thy crown. Verse three says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. So we in that time. All right. This is that time. The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Now, when this, see people, yo, bro. When it starts speaking more loud and clear, watch, watch, watch the music start changing. Watch the tunes and the melody start changing from these guys, bro. But it is what it is, because you ain't deceiving nobody but yourselves, which is a terrible thing. You ain't deceiving the Lord. You could deceive your congregation, but you can't deceive your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You damn sure can't deceive the elect of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. We see right through that shit. You know? <laughs> All we can do is sit back and laugh when a dude try to backtrack talking about I never said it was gonna be a time of Jacob's trouble. I, I said it was, we wasn't in that time yet. And y'all that watch GMS, you know that. And you know who I'm talking about. That's the, that's the, 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 the simple ass mind games they're going to try to play when that time come. It's a damn shame that nobody see it. And I'm sure they, con they congregation do see it. You know? But hey, if the blind, lead the blind leaders of the blind, they should both fall into the ditch. If the congregation don't step up and be like, yo, I, don't, I, I ain't fucking with this shit, man. I mean, it's some, some kind of awful what you're talking about with the, with the mark. They ain't stepping up to the plate like that, bro. It is what it is. All right? At the end of the day, Philippians 2 and 12 says, work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. All right? So the vision is yet for an appointed time, but, that, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it really ain't tarrying. Though it seem like it's prolonging, hey, no better time to be alive than now because we living in a time that this man is going to make that move. And our, our father, our power, Yahweh Yahweh our Lord is going to make that move. All right? And check me his ass, man. So, yo, no better time than now, bro. This is this is, this is it. This is it. This is the end of our captivity. This is um, Lamentation 4 and 21. You know? This is the end of our captivity. 
You know, them long, hardcore years of slavery is all done. It's, it's finished. It ain't coming back for the elect. All right, for Israel. It's going to come back on Esau's ass, man. They're going to drink of that cup. So this is, this is the most beautiful time to be alive, bro. So it says, because it will, it will surely come, it will not tarry. So it ain't going to tarry. It ain't going to prolong. You know, Jake said the visions, Israel said the visions fall far off. They said we ain't going to see it. This for our father's times. Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as it were. Whatever. Whatever, Jake. Whatever the hell you guys say, man. All right. Um, Karataza, I bought James 4 and 8. Draw nigh to Yahweh Shimi Shah. And he would draw nigh to you. Clean, uh, excuse me, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, your mind, ye double minded. And that's what we teach, you know. Turn to the Lord with all your heart, your mind, okay? You know, I mean, and that's why the apostles, you know, they uh, they push, especially from, you know, from apostles to all and down, push, you know, you know, look it up yourself. Look it up yourself. I mean, Karagma, the mark, look it up. Jake, Jake got a problem with looking shit up. Lazy ass, lazy minded. And that's another thing we was talking about in the, in the um in the, in the live yesterday with the Akim. That nobody's gonna make it on nobody else's coattail, man. Nobody's gonna make it off the strength of nobody else. This is a solo mission. This is a solo mission to salvation. All right? A solo mission to salvation. You know, you brothers out there, you ain't gonna make it because you got a apostle the apostles always been saying that. You ain't gonna make it because you got friends that's in the truth. Because you got a cousin. I mean, some of us had family members, friends in this truth, so to speak. That ain't around no more. The show must go on. All right? The show must go on. You know, brothers came in with their actual biological brother, cousin, or whatever. You know, they ain't here no more. It is what it is. The show must go on. The scriptures talk about how this is a narrow path to salvation. The only one can go at a time. So... You know, for those thinking that they're going to make it because they part of a, a congregation or something like that. Nah, man, you really got to really got to establish your own personal, you know, faith with your how about shimmy, how about your own dealings, your own relationship. Like the like like they say in the Christian churches or whatever, which is a fact, you know, establish that personal relationship with your how about shimmy, how about So um, first Samuel two and nine. Um, Shallow one for four says. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. Psalms 91 and 14, because he has set, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. We glorify those names. We magnify those names. Scripture say uh, Proverbs. Um, the 18th chapter that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. You know, so when this man come with them guillotines, brothers going to be calling a name. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakaq, Kadash, but Rakaq, have mercy on me. May the Lord deliver me. May the Lord build me. May the Lord give me the strength, the courage. You know, Kazakim, you know, Rapayim, Amawanim, the faith to just deal with whatever the hell I got to deal with. You know? <laughs> what everybody else going to say? You know, um, Zadok, um, Amram, House of David, one for four, Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garment. Least he walk naked and they see, it, they see his shame. All right, the Lord's coming as a thief. That's why we're supposed to be watching. You know, the true watchman for Israel, the true the true watchman for the elect. All right, we warning all Israel. Eh? All Israel is getting this warning. But only the elect is going to take heed at the end of the day. All right, so um, probably get one more and I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, Junior Yeru, Psalms 88 and 15. I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fears, wrath goeth over me. The, uh, thy terrors have cut me off. And when you read uh, the book of Job, Job, you know, was going was going through it, being afflicted, but he still trusted in the Lord. Job cursed the day the day that he was born. You know, so 
Fuck our life here in Babylon, bro. We're looking for a life eternal to come. Eternity. All right? An, an, an eternal kingdom that's going to abide forever in righteousness. All right? So, I'm going to end it there. You know, I got I got some, um, few things I got to take care of. But, um, you know, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, titled the guillotines because they coming, capital punishment, you know, the mark, all right? It's all here already, you know, it's all here already. And Esau is just waiting for that moment to strike, to roll it out. But here, GMS, Great Millstone, Lord willing, the true prophets of Yahweh, Hashem Yashah, we preparing, we prepared, we ready, and that's that. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shimi Hawashai, by Hashem Rakak All right, all blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior. All right, and shalom to the elect. Till next time, shalom.